What up, everybody? This is JP from Off the Ball Network giving you a recap of the college football. We are into week nine of the college football season. Before we get into the recap, make sure you subscribe down below to Off the Ball Network for all your sports needs and check us out on all our social media platforms. Check out OffTheBallNetwork.com. Articles, podcasts, everything you need is on OffTheBallNetwork.com. Shout out to the guys from Off The Ball Network doing their thing and being so active in all social media platforms. So just definitely check out the guys' work. And let's go ahead and get into the recap. So we have Coastal Carolina with that loss last week um, to App State. Uh, beating Troy uh, 35 to 28, they had a bounce back game, but it was kind of close though. If they didn't score 14 points in the second quarter, only score seven, it would have been an overtime game though. But Grayson McCall going 14 of 26, 294 yards and two t- and two touchdowns. Uh, JV and Healy five receptions, 116 yards and one touchdown. So they are three and one in the Sun Belt, the seven and one overall. Like I said, with that loss to App State. Then we have Georgia, who is the best team in college football, the number one team, beating Florida 34-7 behind Stinson Bennett, 10 out of 1,961 yards and one touchdown. Zamiel White had himself a game, 14 carries, 105 yards and a touchdown. Curious Jackson, three receptions, 59 yards and a touchdown. And Georgia's defense just pretty much shut out um, Flo- uh, Georgia's defense shut out Florida's offense, and Florida couldn't score a point until the fourth quarter. I mean, shout out to that defense. That defense is just so nasty. And we've been saying that all season, how good Georgia's defense is. Are they the favorites to win the national championship? Possibly. Um, you know, like I said, you got Alabama kind of willing in here too as well. So that's going to be an interesting SEC championship with Georgia and Alabama. So we just have to wait and see. Then we have Cincinnati versus Tulane. Cincinnati is still undefeated, 31 to 12. Desmond Whitlow, 17 out of 27, 227 yards and three touchdowns. Josh Wiley, four receptions, 79 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, Tulane couldn't score anything except for the second quarter, only scored 12 points. But, you know, give a, give a shout out to Mr. Speeds for Tulane. 19 carries, 106 yards, one touchdown. He couldn't really do it himself, though, but I mean, you know, Cincinnati is just really good. Just really, really good team. Then we have Texas Tech versus Oklahoma, where we have Oklahoma defeated Texas Tech 52 to 21. Caleb Williams is looking really good. Caleb Williams is looking really good. Looking better than Spencer Rattler. That is saying something. 23 out of 30, 402 yards, six touchdowns. God almighty. Woof. I mean, he is looking really good, really good. Marvin Mills, four receptions, 135 yards, two touchdowns. Oklahoma still undefeated and undefeated in the Big 12. Ohio State versus Penn State, where everybody was looking forward to that game right here. Very close game, though, but Ohio State pick up a really good victory over a good team, 33-24. to Travion Henderson with 28 carries, 152 yards plus touchdown. They could not really stop him. You know, give a shout out to Sean Clifford, 35 out of 52, 361 yards, and one touchdown too as well. But hey, I mean, it was just like a back and forth game. But in the fourth quarter, I mean, Ohio State kind of pulled it off though. I mean, they scored six points, but Penn State couldn't score anything. I mean, they just couldn't score anything. So, definitely shout out to Ohio State, though. They are doing really good. Then, Michigan versus Michigan State. This is the test. This is what I'm telling you. This is the test that Michigan, if Michigan could beat and win a big game with Jim Harbaugh as their head coach, then I'm kind of sold. And they still didn't do it against Michigan uh, against Michigan State. 33-37. to Really close game, though. But Michigan lost. Jim Harbaugh just cannot win the big game. It's just like a cuss on Jim Harbaugh. Like, he can beat, like, you know, the less level teams. But the big games that really count, especially in his division, like Michigan State, he just cannot get the victory. He just couldn't get the victory. Kenneth Walker, the third, 23 carries, 197 yards, five touchdowns. God, five touchdowns, 197 yards, and 23 carries. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Kane Manoa, 
28 out of 44, 383 yards, two touchdowns for Michigan. Ariel Anthony, six receptions, 155 yards, two touchdowns. It was a really good back and forth game, though, I must admit. But, you know, Michigan was up 10 to 0 in the first quarter. And then it's just been like a back and forth game. Michigan State just it was like not going to give up. Then we have Colorado versus Oregon. Oregon destroyed Colorado 52 to 29 behind Anthony Brown. 25 out of 31, 307 yards and three touchdowns. Then we had Byron Caldwell with seven with seven carries, 127 yards, one touchdown. And then we have Iowa versus Wisconsin. Iowa is still like, you know, they, you know, they got beat. And then, man, they got beat by Wisconsin, who's not even ranked, though. But they're looking pretty good, though, you know, in that division, though. So they're 3-2. and two. Wisconsin is, and I was down to 3-2. and 27-7, Wisconsin. I mean, I would just cannot get it together. And their defense. Shout out to the defense for Wisconsin. Shutting down Iowa's offense, you know, in the third quarter. Seven points. Woo! Man, I'll tell you what. Then we had Ole Miss versus Auburn, another big game. Well, Auburn defeated Ole Miss 31-20. to Wow. I mean, wow. Matt Cole didn't have himself a great game. He was 21 of 37, 289 yards, one uh, interception. Tate Bigsby had himself a game from Auburn. 23 carries, 140 yards, and one touchdown. I mean, Ole Miss put the... Put, put it to them, you know, 31 to 20. North Carolina versus Notre Dame, where you would probably feel good if Notre, if Notre Dame loses to North Carolina. And not really. I mean, Notre Dame defeated North Carolina 44 to 34, kind of like a high scoring game right there. You know, Sam Howell, 24 out of 31, 341 yards, one touchdown. It's just so sad that Sam Howell was so highly spoken of a guy that's going to win the Heisman, and he's just. He, he just he, he the four and four now and they're zero oh and two away in the away games. It's, uh, it, it's just tough. It's just tough. Just tough. 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 Well, I know today's four and one too. Just remember that. Colin Williams, 22 carries, 199 yards, one touchdown for Notre Dame. Then we get into Kentucky versus Mississippi State. Well, Kentucky was another ranked team, and then they got defeated by Mississippi State, 31 to 17. Will Walters, 36 out of 39, 344 yards, one touchdown. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Marks, 20 carries, 58 yards, one touchdown for Mississippi State. I mean, pretty much, I mean, Kentucky couldn't really do nothing against Mississippi State. Like, they shut them off in the first and fourth quarter, but the second and third quarter is when they did that damage. Wake Forest versus Duke. Wake Forest, 45 to 7. Whoo wee, 45 to 7. Sam Hartman, 42 yards, three touchdowns, 24 out of 37. I mean, hey, you telling me that Wake Forest defense is really good? Woo! I mean, hey, shut down Duke to only seven points. <laughs> I don't mind. God almighty. Oklahoma State versus Kansas. Uh, Oklahoma State 55-3 to uh, behind Spencer Sanders. 12 out of 1957 yards. Two touchdowns. Dominique Richardson 11 carries. 79 yards. One touchdown. Tay Martin 5 receptions. 84 yards. But no, there's nothing else to say other than Oklahoma State blew out Kansas. Baylor versus uh, Texas Hill. 31-24 uh, to 24 Baylor. Uh, Abram Smith, 20 carries, 113 yards, and a touchdown. Miami versus Pittsburgh picked up the victory. You know, Clemson uh, got defeated by Pittsburgh, and Miami picked up 38 to 34 behind uh, Jalen Knight and 17 carries, 80 yards, two touchdowns. Maybe Diaz could coach finally. Oh my God! I mean, they put up some numbers in the first half, didn't they? I mean, they scored 31 points in the first half, like. They put up some numbers. Like, that just surprised me that Benny Diaz could coach because he was in the hot seat for a while and didn't know if he was going to be able to do the job. The 2-2 two two in the ACC. So, hey, Pittsburgh was looking really good because, you know, they beat Clipson. I don't even want to talk about it because I'm a Clipson guy. So, but, hey, shout out to Miami. Wow. Wow. Okay. Even though Kenny Pickett had, like, 519 yards and three touchdowns, scored 39 to 55. 
So definitely shout out to Kenny Pickett for Pittsburgh. Then we have SMU versus Houston, and Houston defeated SMU 44 to 37 behind Clayton Toon, 27 out of 37, 412 yards, four touchdowns. I mean, the Daniel Dell had himself a game for Houston, nine reception, 165 yards, three touchdowns. Then we get in the Fresno State versus San Diego State. Fresno State defeated San Diego State 30 to 20. Uh, behind uh, Jake Handel, 25 out of 42, 306 yards, one touchdown. Jordan Memes, 29 carries, 186 yards, and two touchdowns. I um, mean, Fresno State put the pounding on San Diego State. Iowa State, who we kept believing in behind Bryce Hall, you know, West Virginia came out and beat them 38 to 31. Uh, Jared uh, Doge, 30 out of 46, 370 yards, three touchdowns. Bryce Ford, we in six receptions, 106 yards, two touchdowns. Brees Hall tried his best. 24 carries, 167 yards, four touchdowns for Iowa State, but it wasn't enough. Then we have Virginia versus BYU, where it was a really high scoring game. BYU 66 to Virginia 49. Jaron Hall, 22 out of 37, 349 yards, three, two, three touchdowns. Shout out to Tyler Aglo. 29 carries, 266 yards, 5 touchdowns. Sound like freaking NCAA numbers right here. Like, unbelievable. But that was your college football recap. Comment down below your favorite game, your biggest winner, your biggest loser, overreaction that you have from this weekend of college football. Hey, if you like this video, give this a thumbs up. Where we see you in next week's video of the recap of week 10 of college football, where we got some really good games coming up. Subscribe down below to Off the Ball Network for all your sports needs. Follow us on all social media platforms and check out OffTheBallNetwork.com. We got a lot of articles and podcasts that is in store for y'all for you to read and check out everybody's work right there from off the ball network like like i said shout out to the guys are off the ball network they're doing their thing for the best full letter sports network company in the nation i'm jp and we're out of here peace